Yeah. All right, bring it over here. And while we prepare the world's first 100-foot Lamborghini freefall, there goes your Lamborghini, Blake. Blake began to strategize on how he was going to catch it. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Chandler, come over here. Yes, I'm here. How would you break its fall? So you get all the pillows in the city. Okay. Step two, get all the mattresses. Next, get a blanket. Chandler, you're just making a giant bed. Then a warm glass of milk. <laughs> all right, stop. You're not helping. Blake, work your magic. Oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> all right, guys, I got some good news and bad news. We passed day one with flying colors. The bad news is uh, the Lamborghini Lamborghini is airborne, okay? So, anyone got any ideas? I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, like, what do we think? The bouncy castles? Bouncy castles, that, that's actually not that bad, just because that's not bad at all, really. And after being inspired by the construction worker's wisdom, Blake had decided on his master plan. I would like to move the connexes in like a square right here with the X in the middle, and that way I can just fill the square up with a bunch of air mattresses, pillows, bubble wrap, and I'll top it all off with a bunch of bouncy castles. Just, you know, the biggest problem right now is I have no materials. Everything that I bought is hard, concrete, or metal, and nothing that I bought I can use for day two, so I have absolutely nothing. And so Blake sent his crew to buy every pillow and air mattress in the city. And even though he was incredibly sleep deprived, he got to work. I'm already at the stage where it's like, wait, why am I doing this again? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm in a challenge for a Lamborghini that's floating in the sky right now. By the time his materials had arrived, Blake had been awake for over 24 hours and was in desperate need of sleep. I'm gonna try to get some sleep because I'm exhausted and it's four in the morning. And with how exhausted Blake was, he ended up sleeping for way longer than he planned. Blake! Um, is he serious? What is this? He got mattresses, pillows, and blankets, but he's missing the warm milk. Yeah, that's the key to everything. <laughs> Where is Blake? He's asleep, I heard. No, he's not. Yeah. By the time Blake got on site, it was already super late in the day. That's Blake's truck pulling up. All right, we need to get to work, come on. All right, let's just see what this looks like. Ooh, that bouncy house works as a big box. So I'm thinking maybe we put that thing in the middle now and then we start blowing it up. Only four and a half hours remain and it's not looking good for Blake. I don't think he has more than a 10% chance of catching that Lamborghini. And even if he does, there's no shot he's stopping that train later on. Start filling up the side so that way it's high over here takes away this wall. So with only a couple of hours remaining, Blake did all that he could by 